Hey, what up, YouTube? This game dog smoke back with another one. Um, the pros and the uh, OGs in the game taught me to say the disclaimer too. You know, nothing is going on illegal over here with my dogs. Uh, this is actually not my dog, but that's the point of the video today. Um, so that's the disclaimer. Nobody does anything illegal. I'm just into breeding and keeping the actual pedigree alive of these animals. And I don't really care if it's just a pit bull. I like other breeds of dogs too. So today we have basically a video about proper breeding versus improper breeding. Okay. Now the point of this video is first off, and this is why a lot of you newbies and the dogs need to listen to the OGs when they tell y'all to check the tethering laws in your state. Keep full control over your animal. Y'all are making us look really bad with our animals. Everybody who keeps proper upkeep of our animals, y'all reckless people make it hard for us. Okay? Yes, we know the history of what these dogs were bred to do. Only professionals really should have these dogs and you should require a fucking license if you ask me. But let's, let's not get angry. Okay. Today, I found this little guy running in the street. Okay. I found him running in the street. Okay. Now, it may look like a full bred pit bull to you, right? This little needle head motherfucker. But he has adult teeth in his mouth. This is what the guys are talking about. Improper breeding. All you mother lovers that just breed just to try to see a return on your investment. Y'all screw up the, the, the lineage, the genes and the game. And guys like us are tired. That is a properly bred American pit bull terrier. Okay. This is, and I know dogs so much. I will show you what this is. This is an American pit bull terrier mixed with the chihuahua. Ah! This is what it looks like. Okay. Sit down. And I'm going to show you how I know. Because people think you don't know dogs. But if you look at the teeth on the dog, you'll know by the size of the teeth how old these animals are. Come on. Back in here. Come on. Come on, buddy. Go on. Come on, buddy. I, I, I. Come on, come on, buddy. I know you don't like being in there, but you gotta go, buddy. And see, I love animals, and I would want to keep him, but he cannot be around my female because if he accidentally sticks her, he's gonna screw up my dogs. Okay, this is why so many of these are up in the shelter. He even has pit bull traits. He bites, acts like a pit, but he's a dang chihuahua mix. I can tell he is too small. And when he uses the restroom, that long tail curve up over his back, what they call the gay tail. Okay. Yes, pit bull. I had pit bulls that had staff in them that had cork tails, not like twisty, but it like a sickle end. That can come with a pit bull too. Yes, real pit bulls can have a sickle end. But when they hold the tail up over the butt and leave the anus open, excuse the language, that's called what people call a gay tail. That means it's a mutt. This dog's teeth are too big for it to be him to be that small. Even a runt will not be his size. This guy looked like a three-month-old puppy. And he has adult teeth in his mouth. So this is what we are talking about with improper breeding. Jet, relax, baby. Relax, Bookie. This is what we're talking about, okay, guys? Y'all got to get these dogs correct, man. It costs too much time and money. And it costs the guys in the past too much time, money, and effort. And blood, sweat, and tears for y'all to be ruining their legacy like this. Just to try to make money. That is the problem with this world. Everybody just out for a buck. Y'all lost the integrity behind the product that you're making. Y'all don't make nothing to last no more. You make shit to break. That way you can make more. You greedy bastards. 
Y'all screw up the game. So this is just a short one. This is why we stay away from dogs like this. And I won't be surprised if back in the day, you know, when the stuff wasn't illegal, if you would have rolled his dog or do something with it, he'll show something because he has Mexican terrier mixed in him. That's what a chihuahua is as a city in Mexico. Okay. That's why that dog's called a chihuahua. It's just a Mexican terrier. They all in the same genus family, but it's different phenos. Okay. This is a real game bred Eli Oh, with probably old Kobe in the back end. You know what I'm saying? We don't chase bloodlines like that. Who gives a shit? As long as you know your dog is official. And you have to go to confirmation shows. Like I said, this dog, I know the lineage of these animals. I know this is a purebred American pit bull terrier. This comes from the same family that was breeding the dogs back when we got them way in the early 2000s, in the late 90s and shit like that. Okay. And a little bonus for people. People keep thinking they know these real Amstaffs. That shit y'all are seeing now is not real game bred Amstaffs. A real Amstaff was tall like a Connie Corso with that color. It had a brindle on it, but he had an American Pitbull Terrier phenotype. He was a taller version with a different mind frame. Yes, back in the day, the 80s and 90s staffs were fighters. They will fight dogs and people. My cousin had one that to this day, that is the meanest dog I've ever fucking met. So y'all talk about them Belgians, but if you get an 80 style real Amstaff, the brindle, the tall skinny ones that look like a pit bull, but he just big, that shit ain't nothing to play with. So people be thinking, I don't know my dogs, but I was born around dogs. My godfather had two 80s boxers, real 100 pound boxers, not them little toothpicks y'all see nowadays. So this is just another little video. Proper breeding versus improper breeding of these animals. Y'all need to stop that, man. Later.